how to find anticipation setups and trade them. So in this particular video, what we are going to look at is what kind of a methodology I use to find anticipation setups and what kind of methodology I use to enter them and exit them when they are profitable or when they make losses, okay? Uh, this particular thing supersedes all other previous uh, videos and previous guides on this particular topic uh, because there are a lot of uh, simplification which I have done. Uh, so keep that in mind. That doesn't mean that the earlier things were wrong. It just means that there is more refinement and simplicity than the earlier things. So in order to do anticipation, the first thing which you need to have is you need to have an anticipation bullish scan, okay? So for setting up an anticipation bullish scan, you start with universe, and we have discussed this multiple times. Universe consists of all US common stocks, uh, ADRs, and ETFs. Uh, price history, I put it at three. I don't really look at very low price stocks, so that's price history about three. Price percent change today is between minus one and one percent. Okay, price percent change today. This is something which is there in the system itself. You don't need to really create this scan. Uh, basically, uh, once you have this scan, what you're looking for is minus one percent and one percent. So the stock is not down more than one percent, or the stock is not up more than one percent. So it's between minus one and one percent in terms of its price. Uh, percent change for the day like say if you look at this thing um, the stock is up zero percent for the day so that's why it shows up in the scan okay and then ti uh, 65 basically average is 7 divided by average is 65 by 1.04 that way a stock which is just 1.05 if you put this at greater than 1.05 then something which is 1.05 will not show up because uh, there's no way in these kind of things to say that you look in a it is greater than or equal to 1.05. So 1.04 ensures that uh, anything which is 1.05 plus will come in. And liquidity is true, which is my condition for looking at stocks, which are at least 100,000 shares traded for last three days. So those are the conditions. Once you add all these conditions and run the scan for today, what you'll get is 653 stocks, basically. Uh, so there are a lot many stocks, um, but once you get skilled at doing this, it doesn't take me more than like an, this 653 stocks, it will take me around 15 minutes to go through. If I'm doing it my normal speed, here it will obviously take more time. So once I have the list, what I do is I sort it by TI-65. Now what is TI-65? TI-65 is again, basically average C by average C-65. So I sort it by uh, TI-65 and I'm interested in the stocks which are ranked high by TI-65 more than the one which are ranked lower. So some days if I am like kind of busy, and I don't have enough time, I'll just go through the top 100 and I'll not even look at the rest of the uh, list of say 600 stocks. So that way you can prioritize. So let's start by looking at it. Like, so obviously the first stock which shows up is FANG. And now this is what I look for in an anticipation setup. See, narrow range break, 0%. Okay, here again, the stock had a similar kind of a setup here like what it was 1.53%, it was 1.07%. For this lower price stock, 1% can also be this thing. And it did make a move from here to here of almost 40, 50%, okay? So here again, this is a good anticipation setup. So uh, for the time being, we'll put this uh, or uh, we'll flag this. And in the first pass, you want to like and you know, go through as many as possible and then you can fine tune. So now you have ABUS, okay? In this ABUS again, what has happened is like stock has gone up uh, and now there is a series of uh, pullback or like this very orderly pullback on lower volume you'll see and it's setting up possibly. So that's like again, stock is up 0% for the day, okay? So that's another one, okay? And now again, another one, but like, this is not as good like because they have you have two drops here, big drops. So uh, it's a question mark kind of a setup because of these two, two drops, I would let it go. Myocardia, okay, again, here two big drops. These are like in a negative days, so I wouldn't really look at a setup like that because if I if you can find an A grade setup, that is what I am interested in. I'm not interested in finding 50, 60 setups, I'm interested in two or three. Now, something like this is way extended. Uh, and if you're finding setups like this, uh, that means basically you are going to get stopped out multiple times because this is very extended, okay? 
second bolt. There is not really a sideways move, enough sideways move for it to be a good setup. Now something like this, whenever you see triple X, it means like it's like an a, it's not a pawn move. It just means that uh, the stock is a buyout. Okay, so whenever I see a buyout or a merger, I just marked it's triple X so that you don't waste time on them. Now herds global. Now so again, see what you see is like drop drop here. Uh, so this would have been a good anticipation setup if there was no drop like this. It would have been very nice setup, but like in a, a drop like that, um, because you have a choice of so many setups, I wouldn't even go into this. CLMT. Now, if you see, this is what you have to look for in a good anticipation setup. See here, this was 0.076%. This was like in a 0.076%. This was 0.076%. So three days, it was like in a 0.076%. And then it exploded and this move was 40%, almost 40% or 37%. That's the kind of setup you're looking for. Now again, it's set up here and it made a move of three days and which was like around 10%, 9%. Now it is again setting up. So that's, but as the setup ages, like in the sense, like you know, as it keeps going more and more away from where this rally started, like this rally actually started here, uh, it becomes less and less uh, likely to work so that you have to keep in mind buying something which is very extended this is not really extended to me so i would still take that now again the same thing uh, as i explained any takeover buyout i'll say now this is not even though it has two series of narrow range day this is so wide so i will not be taking setups like this what i see is like a lot of people are selecting setups which are so wide or that don't fit the definition of an anticipation setup and then they ask me should i be buying this or like i bought it and i got stopped out what do you think i should be doing uh, if you are selecting a wrong setup or if your setup definition is not right everything else which you do after that doesn't matter because that's not going to work okay so keep that in mind uh, have a very strict uh, this thing obviously this was a good anticipation setup here and uh, if you are new to anticipation these are the kind of setups what you can do is actually go and buy some 10 photo frames and find setups like this and frame them because that is what you're looking for. Now, obviously, this is not a good setup, okay? Now, Fakao, again, like in a stock is way extended, so I wouldn't really look at it. This tells you where the trend starts, so it's extended, uh, not enough sideways move, plus it's, a ET, uh, it's an ADR, so it tends to gap up, so not something which I'm interested in. Ewok, no, uh, ARJD, like again. See here, it was a good setup because it was like in a setting up nicely. Uh, point uh, here, it was like 0 0.05, 53%, only 50 cent. And then it made a move of like around 27%. So you're looking at to buy in this kind of a consolidation or when it is coming out of this consolidation. That's the objective of doing uh, anticipation basically or here, like again, it was setting up probably, okay. So we keep going till we find good setup. So Golihan, it's pull back. There's the poor percent, so I would let it go. Um, okay, CVE, it's only three or four days. See here, only sometimes you get an anticipation setup, which is just two or three days. It wasn't really like, it was 1.1%, so it wasn't, wouldn't have like any so on, but here it would have shown. But here like three, four, four days, it's not really, I don't really, uh, I think kind of it can work. I would put it there as something to watch. Maybe a couple of days more it can go sideways. SQM now this is reversed anyway. Uh, zoom here as this was a nice anticipation setup here. Since then it has moved up. Hello Zai. Now BHVN has been very nice setup for almost like an, a month now, but it never damn thing never breaks out in the sense when it breaks out it just like uh, goes back into the range. So a couple of times false breakouts. Uh, oh wow, now this is not a good anticipation setup. Why is this not a good anticipation setup? It has just broken out. This is part of that bro broken out move. So this was a good setup here. And if you're finding setups like this, obviously you're on a wrong track. And uh, you should not even waste your time going through 600 stocks if you're finding setups like this because they are obviously extended. Uh, Eros, now here there's a negative, big negative thing. Uh, so that's the negative on this still like an, it can still work so I would probably put it here at the moment but like and not really a great setup of, again something which is with triple X is not something I focus on where are stream now see this one now see it's too wide see here like in a big candles like in a big wigs 
or something like this even though it's a consolidation is not something which is my anticipation setup definition because this is too wide i don't want to get into something like this why because you'll need a larger stop which definite which uh, def uh, basically negates the entire purpose of doing anticipation because the idea of being anticipation is to uh, try and get into a breakout with ideally 2% or uh, less than 2% stop or 3% stop so this is not uh, again like say volume is high on this one it's uh, it might work but like in a question mark kind of a thing uh, so I'll put some of these in the beginning uh, when I'm just doing the first run and then more critically look at them and just eliminate some of them basically again like not something which is see again so very nice anticipation setup it was here yeah, it wouldn't come in your scan because its liquidity condition was not met if you see it had 84,000 shares traded on that particular day so that was the negative uh, but uh, so let's keep going till we find Innoval now this is again like say this is just going sideways uh, not as compact as I would like the action I would keep it currently uh, in the initial list but that's not something which I literally uh, feel is the A grade kind of a setup this is the kind of A grade setup where you really have series of compact uh, candles and then like and it breaks out and the stock may make 12% move after this so this is again not an anticipation setup if you're finding anticipation setup like this uh, then it defeats the purpose of doing anticipation this is going sideways uh, maybe Or again see it is not very compact action compact action is uh, if this was like in a not such a long candle this is 2.87 it was like in a compact I would have looked at it Octa see this uh, it's like an I don't need to really look at something like that now this one has got like just the trend has just started many of these oil and grass stocks they're just starting and this is just two days sideways so uh, sometimes it works after only two days ideally you want another two three days sideways uh, but if you have a strong market anything can work Kyle see this series of drops uh, that's not something which I would look at restoration hardware see again like this particular thing negates the entire setup if this was not there I would have looked at it as a setup basically so restoration hardware I think we are here at so let's look at uh, Petro Brazil again this was a nice setup but like what you'll see is like in this market a lot of time from a nice setup stocks are moving out and they're just making one day move and there's no follow-through so you have to take profit quickly uh, it's an extended market currently basically it's been going up for some time so it's extended so that's are some other thing now extreme network like see here this is not really compact and as a larger setup like as a breakout yes it might work if it breaks out but not something as an anticipation setup I have it uh, largely because it had very good earnings on my anticipation list last night I had but not an A grade anticipation setup now this is developing this is like nice series of narrow range days see uh, here like in a setting up probably more compact action would be better but like possible now again this is an example of an extended kind of a setup I'm not going to get into something like that again two negatives there like any you'll see here visually itself hot and HD works see like any this is the first leg it's going sideways there's one negative here but it has recovered and it's going sideways in a fairly compact action so that's something which I would look at uh, as like possibility or it is it was in fact on my list uh, last night also and sometimes like and I see it doesn't mean that when you have an action like this that it is going to break out to the upside it can also break down you'll see another uh, one today Gilead science which also broke down like that so there's no guarantee it will always break out to the upside okay
Now this DVMT, it's going sideways. It was a much better anticipation set of here if you bought it like thinking that it is going to break out. It didn't really, it's just going sideways. Here it was a good setup. It did go up for a couple of days only. Uh, but like, and I, I would keep it. Now this, I think probably will be something like this will be a, uh, uh, most probably a buyout or a merger or something because when you get sang action like that it's typically so I'm just checking news on this one and if I see the news uh, yeah it's a uh, post holding is buying Bob uh, uh, Ivan so like and I, what I'll do is I'll mark this so that way you don't spend time thinking, oh, this is a very nice setup. Next time it shows up because it is not a nice setup. Okay. So most of the time I do this religiously. Sometimes I miss, but that is something which you have to do daily in order to keep the list clean. IMAX, it's going sideways. Uh, see, it's trend has changed. So let's keep this at the moment. KBR, overall the move is quite choppy, like this has been chopping all over the place. So even though it's an anticipation setup, I'll let it go because uh, I have to be 100% sure that it is a good setup before uh, I look at it. See here, like the large down day otherwise it's setting up nicely as a setup here but uh, this is negative so uh, in the final list of four five to focus on i would like and i really not focus on something like that as priority vm where i can it's going sideways this is a negative it's just um, also you have to understand that this is a large stock you know like in a vm where Capitalization is 44 billion. The float uh, float is not very high, but like 44 billion. So those don't tend to move as fast as the other smaller ones. Dolby Laboratories. Obviously, this is very choppy base, so I'm not going to get into that. PA. This is large stock, but it is setting up nicely. Uh, it's like an a see this first leg. So I'll keep that. Harris communication. See, this was again anticipation setup. It did make like an a move up around six, seven percent, eight dollars. It's high price stock, so that's like an, a, not a bad move for risking, say, one dollar. You made like an, a six or seven dollars, so that's a good setup. So, and series of time it has set up. Now, this looks a bit too choppy for me, so I would let it go. See, basically, something like this again looks very choppy to me because it's like in a long tail and all so that uh, negates something like this so i would not go into something like this even if i put something like that in my list uh, probably i make my list into a grade b grade or top priority and lower priority so it will go into a lower priority kind of a thing this is maybe kind of thing these are like longer tails here It's a ADR, so ADR tends to jump all over the place. So it's now see there is a four percent breakdown. So
large cap stock setting up nicely now this was like an anticipation setup now this has been negated because of the action it did have a breakout and it reversed so not something which i like to get back into many times they do work sometimes like and i see here again same problem this was a nice setup what did break out and then reversed the big gap down here that negates that setup so i'm not going to get into something like that it's mostly like it takes 10 15 minutes to do this like once you get the hang of it and what you are exactly looking for like i'm happy through and it has taken me around 21 minutes because i'm going and explaining things otherwise i would have been through with this list by now This is a normal speed at which I'll go, and if I see something catches my, then I'll come back and stop and like and you know, revisit that stock. Otherwise, this is the speed at which I'll keep moving most of the time. And you can train even a ten-year-old to find these setups if you are lazy. Uh, see again, like this. Even though this looks like fairly decent setup. uh with this candle i would put it currently but uh, those are some of the negatives so if some days like if i am busy or if i don't have enough time i would uh, look at the top 100 and that's the end of it like and if i don't find something in that uh most of the time you find enough in that to not even go down the rift now here this is a nice setup like and it's going sideways maybe developing kind of a setup uh, not really best of the lot currently it is might require some days and jane it's a large cap stock and it's like in a setting up nicely probably it, it try to break out today it reverses back so that's not a good sign as we go down in trend intensity as we go down the list uh, i am less interested in these kind of setups for the simple reason that uh, i am looking for something which is moving very fast and that is why i sorted it by trend intensity the stocks which are not don't have enough trend intensity uh, they are slow movers so they are not going to move at the same speed as large stocks and also if you really understand your technical analysis Uh, what we are really trying to find using the anticipation method is really what is called as a high tide flag uh, and high tide flags show up in stocks with great momentum or big momentum not in like slow movers something like this might look to you like as a good anticipation setup is just been going sideways for a long period of time so when a stock just keeps going sideways for a long period of time unless it breaks out convincingly with a breakout it's not really the best of the lot i'll put it in the list uh for not something which i am like in a looking digging as like an a grade setup 
And uh, going back to the topic of like technical analysis and chart patterns, uh, there is a person who has spent his life uh, studying chart patterns and you must have heard of him, the chart pattern side if you go to uh, Volkowski. Uh, and after studying all the patterns, uh, the number one pattern which he has found as works the best out of all the patterns which he has studied, guess what it is called? It is called high tide flag. And that's exactly what you're trying to find using this anticipation scans, basically, more or less. Uh, that's why the stocks, which have a high, very high extreme momentum, tend to do well on um, anticipation. And the one which don't have enough momentum don't do well. Like something like this had extreme momentum. That's why it broke out. Or like, say, if you look at recent one, which is like Zoma, okay, here, like, and this was like an. Again, you wouldn't show up in your anticipation setup because the liquidity condition, liquidity is only 35,000 shares, but like a stock has great momentum and then it forms a flag and a high tide flag, and then it breaks out and then it works best. So that's the really the thing, okay? So what we did is we flagged a lot of stocks, like and we are around uh, 30 stocks. So what I'm going to do is 25 stocks, I'm copy, all these into one watch list, watch list anticipation, okay? Now what I have is I have a preliminary watch list. That, this doesn't mean that uh, these are the stocks uh, I'm going to like tomorrow go and uh, buy, no. Uh, so we have these stocks, okay? What I'll do is uh, I'll publish this list as the general list, like saying, okay, these are the stocks which are anticipation setups. Uh, that's for public consumption. That's mostly for like kind of giving you some idea as to what I'm looking at as an overall set of stocks, but for my personal trading, okay? What I'll do is I'll go through this each one very critically, look at every single thing. I'll spend like another 15 minutes uh, going through these 25 stocks in detail to see, and I'll prioritize my list. So obviously this is my number one priority setup for tomorrow, okay? Uh, and I will also like kind of figure out you know, kind of what really is a, a point at which uh, it is a breakout. Like and I say, this was like and I say, uh, if it breaks out at what point I will want to, do I want to buy it tomorrow without waiting for a confirmation and hope that it breaks out? Or if I'm looking for a confirmation at what price I want to buy it, uh, doesn't mean that I'm going to put an order there at that price. Sometimes I do put orders. Uh, I will put a, a buy stop limit order basically saying look and if it goes above say uh, 590 uh, or 6 uh, then the order gets triggered that might be one approach many times I'm watching it real time because I will have only three or four good ideas in a day so I might watch it real time and, and then I'll take a call based on what is happening now, obviously this is another second setup which I will look at something like this CLMT it, had a breakout here, now didn't really follow through big. See, the other thing is like, if you want to have a setup with like this and it just has like one day move and then there's no breakout, it doesn't have enough momentum, so I'll let it go, okay? CVE, again, like this is not really compact, uh, so I wouldn't really go into. Uh, BHV and I've been watching it for so many days. We have a small position also. It doesn't, uh, to me, uh, if a stock doesn't break out in uh, eight or nine days, it just is, uh, uh, waste of time currently. Eros, this is a negative, so it will not go on my A list. Okay, well, biotechnology stocks as a group are doing well, but this is like an a this has had its move. This doesn't look to me as something which is ready to break out tomorrow. So uh, I would let it go. You know, healthcare, it has made a big move, so going sideways. I might keep it, but this will be a big red kind of a setup. Generac, this is more uh, the play on the current, uh, uh, what you call the uh, storms and stuff like that. This makes generators, okay? Uh, it doesn't look as attractive to me, so I'll let it go as hog. Now this is a new strain which is just starting out. It's a basically a IPO also to a large extent, I think, and so I will keep it. Again, may not be like an, my top, top priority, but I will keep it basically. So we were somewhere like, and so let's go through this. Generac, Sina, not really a top priority. SDP, I had an order ready on this. I am not so sure it just keeps going sideways. DVMT, not really A grade, CICN. 
uh, I have some negatives on this when I look at it closely. These things uh, also spent a lot of time going sideways. VMware same. Yeah, I would keep this uh, on my top watch list because uh, it's a stock which has been working and it's a large stock. So uh, again, this is high priced, very nice setup. So this will definitely go on my list. Okay, calm will not. Uh, Bristol Meyer no. Uh, so forty. This looks very nice, high priced. I like high priced stocks because I can like you know put in thousand shares and I get seventy thousand invested uh, versus a small stock. So I always like these. So I'll put it. Uh, but what else do we have? Like say CP, MJN, Weight Watchers. Uh, not really. So now I have six stocks like Feng, Abus, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now some of them I might decide. Okay, look, I'm going to like kind uh, enter them in anticipation. Like and this looks ready to break out. Okay. So I might enter based on like and how it uh, looks in the first 15, 20 minutes. Most of these break out, they will break out in the first 10 or 15 minutes. And most of them break out very fast. Like and by the time uh, you can get in, like and I buy like and lots of 5,000. Typically my lot size is around 5,000 for these kind of lower price kind of stocks. So if I'm buying, going to buy a 5,000 shares lot, like they can move very rapidly, very, very rapidly. It doesn't trade much 270,000 shares. So uh, most of them break out, if they break out in the first half an hour, most of them break out, okay. So I will, what I will do is like, can I, these stocks will go uh, in my IB interface. Like I'll put it on a page in IB. And when I'm putting it on a page in IB, uh, there'll be like uh, what I'll do is I'll put my number one idea uh, and I'm going to give you these ideas for tomorrow because I'm not trading tomorrow if I was trading tomorrow I would not tell you which is my number one idea because obviously all of you will put a stop there some of you will like and you know, even try and front run and buy it in anticipation like last couple of weeks ago I highlighted this stock right what happened somebody in pre-market itself or like at the open and then it did open and then it spent rest of the day going down. So that is the thing. These things are very susceptible to uh, execution problems because of some of them are like in a, really like when they take off, they take off so fast in 10 minutes, you'll have a 4% move. So you can't really like, in a, before you blink, uh, it will be, oh, the move will be 4 or 5%. So the whole objective of getting into that kind of a move like say even this phoenix media when i saw by the time it was like an and on the day of that itself it made 20 percent move so things can happen very fast so you have to be uh, very good at executing this trade so once i have these ideas what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this as number one i'll put b a or this harris as number two idea on my platform and 40 as number three and then number four five six kind of a thing uh, or will be like an this will be my last idea this is not as ready to me as this one is or this one is to break out or this one is so i have say la for all practical purpose i have three a grade setups for uh, say tomorrow uh, this is not really really a grade it, it will might take but it is like say let's say three feng HRS and f So my objective is to try and get into them as fast as possible if they try and break out. Sometimes like and I will have, what I'll do is I'll create an order, pre-market itself, and I'll keep it ready uh, in terms of like an, either as a market order, uh, and I might have a limit order saying, okay, you want to get into this stock at say, this is trading at 254, and I want to get it like, and if it starts moving, I don't want to be late, I want to be in in this stock at around uh, say 255 because I think if it breaks out, it's going to make like an say approximately it's going to make a 16, 17 dollars move. So I don't want to be like an by getting in as fast as possible. Uh, I want to be able to put my stop as close as possible. Ideally, if I can put a stop on a dollar breakout at just one dollar, so for risking one dollar, if I can make eight, 10 or 12 or 15 dollars, that's a good thing. So same thing applies to all these stocks. I would have thought through definitely uh, where I'm going to put my stop, uh, entry point on these stocks, like, and I, they, it, like on particular, like this particular stock, I know for a fact that 132 and I would be in this stock, okay? So my trigger point, I might create an order which might say 131.90. Uh, 
and uh, that's the trigger price and 132 as the limit order price so as soon as the stock trades at 131.90 my stock my order uh, becomes a order to buy up to 132 so uh, if i have say 1000 shares sometimes what happens is like if i have an order which triggers at 131.90 supposing or even less than that i might put it at 131.75 and then it will get executed between 131.75 and at best 132 okay so some shares like sometimes if i put in a 5000 shares order i get part of it executed at uh, 131 point say uh, 80 i'll get part of it executed at 131.82 85 87 and that's what happens so sometimes like you know then the stock just moves and then you have to cancel and then you have to resubmit an order but then like in, a, in that case what happens is you end up chasing the move and your stop becomes larger so i also know where i'm going to put a stop here you know more or less that look at my stop is going to be 131 uh, because based on what is the action is here so i know look at i want to get in between 130 1.75 and 132 as far as possible now obviously if it gaps up tomorrow your entire thing negates or if it gaps down that entire thing negates uh, so that's why I don't really create orders and put them in the system itself because if it gaps down, you don't want to be like an A. Uh, but you can see individually how to trade it after that is up to you, okay? Uh, whatever method you find more comfortable by putting in orders, you can use orders, you can put an order which says, you can trigger order like or limit order. And in different platforms, you can create these orders differently like they're basically buy stop orders and different platforms like Fidelity might have a different way of doing it. Um, TD Ameritrade might have a different way of doing it. In IB, there is a way to do this, uh, uh, which is basically used to create a stop limit order and put the trigger price and put the limit price. Uh, you can have both same, but like then you may not get executed. So you can give a limit or low a uh, lot more little bit of room so here like in, again say like this is a idea which i want to look at like and i'm going to buy this stock at around 70.45 uh, is my if this is currently trading at around close to around 70 only 6992 is almost 70 so if it goes up around 70.5 i want to be in that stock because i think and it will go up after that if i wait for it to go to 71 or if i went for it to break out f full dollar or four percent what is the point of doing all this work today then there is no point okay so i wouldn't like and i put in an order here at around say uh, close to around uh, my trigger point might be around 70.37 which is the high of this consolidation of last four or five days so 70.40 might be my thing and i might put like and i give it like say another uh, 67 hour uh, third 20 or 30 cents as limit to at best like I want to enter between 70.40 and say 70.60 and my stop will be seven, uh, close to around this price 69.92 or 70 basically so I know okay, look and I'm going to be risking less than one dollar uh, now that's the risk worth taking because if it goes up and if it goes to say this is trading at around 70 it's high price stock so uh, let's say it's a fairly large price stock uh, like at a fairly liquid stock 270 it's not going to move very fast but if it moves and from 70 it goes to 75 still for risking one dollar you're likely to get five dollar so that's the way you're looking at basically as and whenever it has broken out it has broken out with not much more than two percent or less than one percent moves see these breakouts are not really big breakout here like at a, so that's the objective so i would have like an a really uh, for this uh, four stocks are definitely definitely uh, orders ready okay feng ba uh, hrs 40 okay and uh, now in the first five minutes ten minutes most of the time these things uh, break out and many times uh, these are not stocks which are likely to break out in the pre-market because these are higher price stocks and all but like if you have very low price stocks something like this and if you see it breaking out in the uh, pre-market, I would buy them in pre-market. Like, and I buy stuff, a lot of times I'm buying stuff in the pre-market nowadays because I found uh, that if I have a very nice anticipation setup and if I don't buy in the pre-market and then it, uh, I'm ended, I end up chasing it at 5%, 6%, 7%, that's of no use, okay? Now, supposing all five of these or like all four of these uh, uh, things are trigger tomorrow, 
uh, I have enough capital to ensure that I can get onto all four of these or five of these. Okay, capital is not a problem because I use portfolio margin. So on a portfolio margin, uh, for say hundred thousand, you can get six. Uh, you can go up to six hundred thousand. Uh, so capital is never a problem in the, that sense, and I trade a lot more than hundred thousand. So that's not going to be a problem most of the time. Uh, but that's the game plan now. Now executing it tomorrow morning is really the key uh, like once the orders are ready just like and if i find that it is breaking out i just submit the order or some of these orders i might submit ahead of the time because i think you look and this is a stock which i want to get into again what i will do in the morning is i'll check just to make sure that there is no uh, i will again double check the earnings here the earnings is 10 26 2013 so that's not the risk here the earnings is 11 7 but i will just double check it on uh, Finways or some other site to just ensure that there is no catalyst coming here. The other thing is 11 14 2017. So that's not a problem. So that in a sense is what the objective is as far as I'm uh, looking at on a dollar breakout kind of a anticipation set. I want to get in as quickly as possible with ideally a stop of around one dollar because then that's a very ideal situation. You can like and then just run it like and a uh, and whatever for uh, most of the high price stocks if they break out they make three four five uh, ten twenty twenty five dollars moves so you have a very ideal situation so this is the kind of situation which i like where like and you, know, you have very very compact action and the setup has worked a couple of times uh, does it mean that this is going to work definitely no that's like an a uh, many times setups like this which look perfect can fail but your risk is so low if it works, it's going to pay multiple times your risk, basically. That's really uh, the key, even the BA. This looks very nice as a setup, but this one looks much better than that as a setup. And Feng is one setup. Now, these are some of the setups which I found, okay? Uh, now, obviously, in addition to this, I'm going to look at uh, the list of IPOs because the IPOs don't cover, get covered in that uh, uh, anticipation bullish thing because IPOs may not have 65 days of data so some of them will not so for ipo i have a slightly different scan i look at ipos whatever is less than one year and price person change again with minus one and one but for the liquidity i dropped the liquidity to twenty thousand because i found a lot of ipos will have very low liquidity and when they break out they will have like an, a huge uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, liquidity coming in so that's the thing which uh, happens. Uh, so now again, like and anything which is about this, you already looked at, but because of the liquidity filter, anyway, I look at this 86, it doesn't take me, it will not take me two, three minutes, more than two, three minutes to go through. Now here you have this particular stock, which just traded only 57,000. Now this is a very idea, this is good anticipation setup, except for the fact that you had this big drop, you had this big drop. It, it's worth like an ISO as a, uh, um, um, IPO setup, I'll put it like here again, like, and it's just going sideways. There is a huge volume here. So I'll put it there, okay? BHP, and as we discussed this, this is just a waste of time. Now, Solaris oil field, it's not really like, and you know, not enough sideways, uh, been a little choppy. So I would let it go. Really don't see much in this currently. See what to look for in a good setup is this kind of action. See here, this is a nice setup. 167 that is like an less than one percent less than one percent or even here it was like setting up so but like looking for today we don't have anything uh, now this vntr somebody said like and i see this doesn't have really a very compact action like see this wide uh, action like this i wouldn't really like and you know, go out and buy stuff based on that so uh, i don't really like and you know, i like setups which are very wide 
so i will put in couple of these into the uh, list but they do not change my uh, list of like any top five basically because i don't see that uh, the new one which are come in are better than what i had already selected this is not a class setup this is not a class setup for me so i'd still stick to my four or five okay now when to enter before a breakout and when to enter like say many times when you're looking at again like and i see i am going to remove all these flagged one for the time being because i want to show you something uh, some of the old examples to where like and what drives the decision to buy without waiting for an and uh, this thing now i said like and i always sort this list by ti65 and i give you the reason for doing that what is the reason the reason is very simple what you're looking for is you're looking for the highest trend intensity or the one which has the highest trend intensity as the first one because that's where um, your high tight flags work the best high tight flags will work best on a stock with great momentum okay so if you have a stock with a great momentum and it is setting up very nicely as a setup okay uh, then what information do you want for it to buy like say so here is an example of a stock here the stock was there okay and i saw it here okay or like and i, I highlighted it like and on this day saying you know this is basically a probable buy now how did i know because i run my intra, uh, anticipation scan intraday and i look at at least the top 50 i look at so i said like you know okay this is a buy here and i bought it here now obviously like it started fading yesterday so i got stopped out I didn't uh, like today it had a better day than yesterday didn't really look like it was ready to break out from that thing but like an, even that was still 11 percent or 12 percent move even if you look at that three days so that was like and i'm not waiting for any confirmation and buying it here uh, i think and I, uh, my buy point was like uh, ten dollars or something and i got out at around uh, on the stop at around 11 uh, i think 11.75 or something uh, 10.75 so that was like anything okay so if you find something is setting up very nicely uh, and obviously this didn't have a liquidity but if you see something is setting up very nicely then you just buy you don't wait for a confirmation is what i do sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work like the stock i bought like it did go up and then it reversed so those are some of the uh, problems which you have uh, but uh, basically if you are in a very high momentum kind of a situation and the setup looks very nice even this one i bought it like in a uh, yesterday itself uh, uh, as soon as the uh, it's way early and i uh, actually uh, uh, had a very profitable trade here like on a thousand shares uh, around two thousand dollars um so is there a definite answer which i can give you no it's just common sense you have to just use the common sense and look at like you look at which one is setting up very nicely and if it looks like and it's setting up very nicely and this is a good buy point especially do this only on stocks with extraordinary momentum okay because if yesterday if you're looking at this particular setup and you found thought that this is going to break out then you buy it like and you know, don't wait for it to break out and buy because that is going to give you a closer stop so that's really what uh, you're trying to do uh, in this particular uh, thing now again this dvax something which i bought yesterday because i thought it's ready to break out it did break out but like not to my liking in terms of it did fade i wanted a big breakout like this uh, so like this here see here like it made a six percent move and from that particular thing it did make a 20 to uh, 25 percent move but these are stocks with high momentum and i'm going to keep on buying every anticipation setups on them till they fail in the first especially the top uh, 20 or 50 stocks like even if you look at this rada it's like an uh, some of them have been volatile or they're just making one day move kind of a thing but uh, uh, that's really the key you look at the one which have like uh, very high momentum they are the one uh, where buying in anticipation buying if it is a perfect setup works because it has inherently very big momentum okay just buying any random stock which is not really a good setup uh, and then uh, you will get stopped out or you will feel that look at it's not really working 
because uh, you will find that they, it doesn't have enough momentum basically so that's the key to select stocks the right kind of a stock that's one okay the other thing which is happening a lot in this market is like you will get this big move and then nothing happens next day either it will reverse the entire uh, gain or it will give up half of the gain which is happening on quite a few of stocks basically uh, like half of the gains were gone on this particular thing so you have to be careful if you get a very close entry you should like and you know, take a 10 percent move you should take profit so uh, that's one specific problem which is happening in this particular market environment where many of the anticipation setups are turning out to be just one day day trades uh, because holding on to them after that hasn't really worked uh, like even if you look at this particular thing, see this was a very nice setup. He's zero percent. What confirmation do you need to buy this particular thing? And I said like in you know, a fourteen is buy this thing because it was just like in you know, a Scott in this. I should have actually on the gap. I should have been more aggressive. But like uh, getting out was the key because in one day it made twenty two percent. If you kept holding, this was lucky. This recovery is lucky thing. Otherwise, like and you know, it just ended up giving up all the gains from there. So this is, and it's happening on number of setups, not only in the, on this setup. Perfect setups, they're breaking out, but nothing is happening after that. Uh, that's uh, a market phase, basically. But uh, that doesn't really stop you from profiting from these kind of setups. Uh, LL, which is like, and I had a breakout today, see here. It looked like ready to break out, like, and then uh, if you got in very quickly you would have got 60 70 cents when somebody pointed it out and if you were like any thinking oh late day records don't work all those kind of rules and all uh, then you would not have captured like capturing this itself on thousand shares would be around 700 dollars that buys you probably depending on what kind of 30 year bottle you are looking for of whiskey buys you a bottle of whiskey so think about it uh, this is not something which is like an for the those who are not willing to put in effort and like and you know, do all their work and then you don't need to really work uh, look at any other stocks uh, those four or five stocks they um, will give you your opportunities you don't have to chase other scans you don't have to run any other scan during the day you've done your work and uh, if you get in early uh, when people start screaming oh it's breaking out breaking out or high of the day high of the day by that time you'd be in a position to get out of the stock when other people are entering it on a breakout so that's really the objective of trying to do anticipation. It's not something which is going to come to you uh, in one day or of watching this video. Uh, we've been discussing this for multiple years now. Uh, the first start of this germ of this idea started with uh, Doji Star's presentation in Advanced Bootcamp. And since then, um, over years, I have developed this method and it has worked very well it like and it gives you if you are like in a some days everything triggers like if all these three or four setups trigger supposing uh tomorrow the whatever is my number one ranked like the feng and uh, i forgotten what i what had this harris and ba and there's one more i think and i put uh, you uh, so all of these like and if this four trigger that's around four thousand five thousand dollars on thousand shares lot like say uh, thousand shares thousand shares here and probably five thousand shares here if it triggers you're looking for like sometimes in the first half an hour you will be up like two three thousand dollars because it just everything triggers or something like this triggers and you're in and it makes uh, such a big move within span of a uh, few minutes like and then your 5,000 shares become like an 4,000, 5,000 shares uh, dollars profit. So it requires uh, working through your issues in terms of like, you look, where do I put stop? Everything you have to think through basically. And the stop is not something which is like an, a very difficult on this thing. As I said, like, and I know where I'm going to put a stop on this. I'm going to put a stop very close to where it is today, which is the 131. Because if it breaks out from this, I don't want it to revisit that price. I want to break out like this. From that particular price um, so that's really the key and if it works uh, think about it like if you have a thousand shares and if it breaks and it makes two dollars move that's two thousand dollars and many of those kind of moves happen uh, in a ziffy uh, and you can have more stocks but like an on on IB platform on a page you can only put in 40 stocks so what I normally have is I don't have more than 10 stocks 
I'll have stocks like, and I, uh, say something like this blue uh, was still there on my uh, thing because I don't really take out stocks which are good like, and it was on my list here somewhere. It had a false breakout and then like, and I kept it. And then uh, I just saw it like in a breaking out because it was a longer term consolidation. Now it did make a good move basically. I didn't have a big move of uh, shares. I had only 100 shares out of which like and I sold 75 by the end of the day. But uh, that itself was still I think around six seven hundred dollars move uh, uh, for just like and having doing the homework and putting it on the uh, trading platform. If it is not on the trading platform, it's difficult to get into the stock immediately because it's such a problem. So uh, what I will have on my trading platform is only things which I want to trade basically. I don't want to know what other stocks are doing or what is other, something which is not in my anticipation method, I'll not put on that page uh, basically because it is just a distraction sometimes. Uh, so that's the way you can really look for setups like this. Look for setups like this where there is an orderly thing and if they break out, they can make moves. I hope this uh, answers some of your questions. I'll be doing these videos over the uh, next couple of weeks at least. Uh, I will not tell you exactly which are my top five because if I tell you exactly which are my top five, uh, then the problem is uh, I will not get into these trades with the size which I want to get into because Obviously, uh, there is a competition like and if I put in the order and if there are like and, uh, 300 people trying to get in at the same price, uh, then uh, no, like and, uh, then it becomes a problem. These are very susceptible to execution or like and if you don't get in early, then like, you know, as if the stock is up 60, 70 cents, uh, may not be for this uh, larger stock, but uh, especially for these stocks which really make big moves the smaller one like this might be having a very low float i don't know what is the float on this one but i'm guessing it will be very very small float i'm just finding out this float on this one uh feng has a fairly large float it has 24 uh, 28 million but if it is a very small float then like and uh, it just breaks out and it just goes by the time you can blink the stock will be up like a four percent uh, so it becomes very tricky to give you the list of like in a top five uh, and uh, the buy points because if that is there then people start front running and if it's uh, everybody starts front running then I'll have to buy uh, moonshine instead of buying 30 year whiskey. <laughs>